So this is a pretty important video for anybody out there who's trying to make money playing online poker and it's going to be about the stakes that you need to actually be playing in order to generate something that is uh, significant. Now I'm going to be uh, doing some more gameplay around uh, Bovada Poker. If you guys are looking for any good online poker sites to get started with, we'll have some bonus and sign up links in both the description and comments of this video. Okay, anyways, uh, I think that you know, a lot of people out there think that they can just grind their way playing really small games. I'm talking like, you know, the $10, $25, $50 tables. Uh, and the thing is, you shouldn't really be playing any games below 100 bucks. And I would say it's more like 200 bucks. And the reason for this is, you know, when you're sitting down and playing online poker, you're spending your time, right? Your time is worth something. And I just think that, you know, if you're not playing uh, a game that's big enough stake wise, you're not going to win much money. You know, for example, you could be playing one to no limit. And then after playing for maybe like an hour or two, maybe you're up 100, 200 bucks. And that's pretty decent. But the problem is if you're playing those lower games, and even if you're trying to multi table, you know, multi-tabling is just a really dumb way to play online poker. The most you should play is two tables at a time. And the reason for that is because when you're playing, this is a, this is a game where you need to focus. Uh, you need to put people on ranges of what they have. You need to bluff. You need to do all these kind of different things. And if you're trying to play four tables or more at a time, you're going to play bad poker. I mean, it's just the truth. So if you're playing a high enough stake and you're keeping it at two tables, um, we'll just use... We'll We'll just use one to no limit as an example right because that's the lowest that i play i mean you could play a uh, 50 cent dollar and try that the problem is i just feel like those limits are still too low so i feel like one to no limit is like the perfect amount uh to be playing to actually start seeing something you know for your time right obviously playing poker is an entertainment based thing but i still think if you're trying to actually make money playing online poker it's important to be playing the right stake okay we got a couple good hands coming up here also let me know what you thought about how i played these hands we're gonna see didn't really see a whole lot of action in these first two but the next one is gonna be uh, pretty decent also if you guys want to chime in feel free to comment below on what i'm talking about here but i'm sure if you like really think about it playing the right stake is definitely important and if you don't have enough uh, if you don't have a big enough bankroll to be playing some of the mid state games, just wait, wait for a little bit, save up some money and then, you know, take a stab at the bigger games or the mid state games and, you know, see what happens. You know what I mean? All right. These two pretty small pot right there. Okay. Yeah. So we have pocket aces in pretty good position here. Player three opened it up 10 bucks, right? So typically that's a weird uh, re-raise pre-flop. I'm sorry, a, a weird raise pre-flop. So for me, I was just kind of thinking to myself like, okay, well, he must have a good hand, right? He opened 10 bucks. He could have just raised it to like six or eight, but he went 10. Um, I decided to pop it to $35 right here, which I felt like was the right move because I'm really just trying to entice somebody to maybe make the call or maybe just get this guy to, you know, go all in. I mean, he only has a hundred bucks. Uh, he does re-raise all in. Clearly we're going to call hit an ace five suited, which, you know, um, I feel like this guy must have been tilting a little bit to shove all in with ace five suited. He did pair the five on the river. And, you know, that's not the worst hand to have, let's be honest. But it doesn't really make sense to go all in with that hand uh, pre-flop like that. You know, it just it's bad poker. Um, this next hand, we had an eight nine offsuit. can't really remember how i played it we'll find out in a sec here oh yeah we paired the nine not bad um you know just kind of mixing things up raising uh pre-flop here with uh you know eight nine bad turn card i mean there were some spade draws out there you know i didn't like seeing the king and um this guy only had 44 dollars left so the fact that he was betting 10 bucks into this and the fact that I really didn't like my kicker and all the possibilities, I just decided to give that hand up. And I just kind of feel like that was the right play. Um, and the final hand we're going to have here is going to be pocket queens. So pocket queens. And you know, I don't, I wouldn't say that I played this hand wrong at all. It was very just weird timing for how it's going to play out. 
player four, opening it up 11 bucks, and he had about 50 left. I just felt like, what what are we doing here? I mean, we're, we're getting it all in, right? Uh, unfortunately, he's going to turn over the aces, so... You know, maybe if I just called right there, I could have folded because the king was out there. But, you know, it is what it is. And, you know, we lost that one. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just remember, you know, you got to be playing a high enough stake for it to be worth your time, honestly. And uh, that's my opinion, but it is what it is. Anyways, uh, subscribe to the channel for more uh, poker content. And we'll see you in the next poker session.